Hello, it's Sebastian Danicic. What we're going to do is use an HTML parser. So there's, I found a nice HTML parser online, it's here. So what I'd like you to do is read uh, this documentation here, read this, and in particular look at the Java docs relating to, um, to this HTML parser. So that's this link here. So again, in the usual format, it gives you all the different uh, classes and methods that are in the HTML parser um, uh, package. We're not going to be using all of them. In fact, we'll only be using a very few. Um, so the first thing I want you to do is look at um, this program here. Um, what a parser does, it, it um, takes a a file, a b an ordinary file, and put some structure. It, 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 puts, it saves the file in some nice data structure which allow allows you to get at the important bits of the file easy, ease more easily. For example, um, uh, this program which I've got here, will you can point it at a URL and it'll give you all the links in that URL. So, for example, um, if we, p we could try pointing it at this page, and see what happens. So let's do that. Well, here's the program, uh, but before you can run it, you need to um, download this HTML parser.jar and put it in your class path. Um, I'm sure you all know how to do that uh, by now. If not, there's plenty of documentation online which tells you how to add things to your to your class path. And if you're using Eclipse, uh, you can also do it in a slightly different way. Um, now, so what we have to so here's a program let's have a look at it here we're calling the parser with arg0 so again it's expecting it's expecting um the um url to appear on the command line very similar to the get url program we did just before now um what we're doing uh, is we've got this uh, node list which will in fact have all the information resulting from doing from parsing our um parsing our uh, URL. In fact, this thing here means we're going to parse it. We're going to collect in this node list all the all the links which are nodes. We're going to we're going to get all the links from our URL from our file which is at that particular URL. And here that's got that's stored in a variable called list of type node list. Then we've got a simple for loop here which prints each element of that list out in turn but converts it to, to HTML. The details of this aren't really important, but the important thing is it, it stores them all in a list and we can, a node list, which is some special structure used in the HTML parse. I suggest you look up node list to see, to see what methods it's got on it. It's obviously got a method called element at here. It's using one here. Let's see what other methods it's got. So have a look in the HTML parser documentation to find node list. Well, let's see if I can find it now. So there's the HTML parser, there's Java docs, all classes, node list, there we go. So node list, and here it's methods. So we just, we're using element at. So study this and it uses nodes, so you can look up what nodes are as well. Nodes are a special thing defined in this HTML parser package too. So you can look up all those and play around with it and get to understand it well. Um, back to the main task here. So here's the program that's going to read from the URL that we give it at the command line and print out all the links. So let's just try it. So how do we run it? We say Java Let's compile it first. Java C test one dot Java. Now we run it. We say Java test one, and I'm going to give it as a parameter the this URL up here. We'll see what it does. So what it's done is simply printed out all the all the links that we found in that web in 
this web page. So here are the links to the videos, here are some of the other Java programs. And what we're going to do later with this, this is quite useful, because what we're going to do with this is we're going to, from each of these uh, URLs, again, we can um, call the same method, same program, and in a way we'll be writing a spider that searches um, uh, uh, all the links from a particular URL going as deep as we like. So we can f use this program to follow links using a web and we'll end up with what's called a web crawler.